morning students today we are going to study one of the important aspect of management that is organizational behavior it is a very important topic to study the human behavior as an individual and as a group in the organization in this particular topic we just go through with the introduction of organizational behavior personality learning and perception of an individual and its impact on his or her behavior so firstly start with the organizational behavior it is also you known as ob it is concerned with the study of human behavior at workplace it is the study and application of knowledge about how people as an individual or groups behave or act in the organization it studies that aspect of group behavior or, or human behavior which is relevant for the organizational performance the term ob is comprised of two words namely organization and behavior organization means where when the group of person work together on a continuous basis to achieve some common goals and behavior is a reaction to the stimulus it is a goal oriented process as to attain the organizational goals with in a desired behavior thus ob is concerned with the study of people's behavior within the organizational setting definitions promptly given by the authors ob is directly concerned with the understanding prediction and control of human behavior in the organization by luthans second ob is a field of study that investigates the impact that individuals groups and structure have on human behavior within the organization for the purpose of applying such knowledge towards improving an organizational effectiveness by robbins so we can say that ob is concerned with the study of how and what people act in organization and also how their acts affect the performance of the organization it also applies the knowledge gained about individuals and groups and the effect of structure on human behavior in order to make organization work more effectively the key elements of organizational behavior which are also known as the fundamental concept or assumptions these are people environment technology and structure people organization comprise people who work for organizational goals people consist individual or groups people also refers to the employees having individual differences like traits intelligence personality needs attitude perception knowledge technical skills etc structure structure means organizations are the social system there are two types of system works in the organization that is formal and informal organizational system third environment means the surrounding forces factors which affect the functioning of the organization it comprises of two types of environment internal and external environment and last one is a technology it provides the resources with which people work and also affect their behavior that they perform now the nature of op basically it is a field of study not a discipline it's not a different stream but it's a field of management only second it a disciplinary approach op consists of the study of human behavior which integrates the knowledge drawn from related disciplines like psychology sociology and anthropology it is an applied science the basic objective of ob is to make application of various researches to solve the organizational problem particularly related to the human behavior aspect a normative science organization is also considered as a normative science which prescribe how the various findings of the research can be applied to get the organizational research 
it is humanistic and optimistic approach as ob deals with the human so it is considered as the humanistic approach towards people working in the organization it treat people as thinking feeling human beings it is also believed that people have an innate desire to dependent creative and productive next a total system approach ob is a total system approach wherein the living system of an organization is viewed as an enlargement of man the system approach is integrative approach which takes into account all variables affecting organizational functioning now the second topic is perception perception is the process by which individual organize and interprets their sensory impressions in order to give meaning to their environment it can be defined as the process which involves seeing receiving selecting organizing interpreting and giving meaning to the environment basically in simple words we can say that perception is the way of seeing the things how we perceive or see the things and study it perception is an important mediating cognitive process through which people makes interpretation of the stimulus or situation they are faced with given by luthans perception process it mainly receives the five major steps which includes receiving stimuli selection of stimuli organizing of stimuli interpretation and action so firstly we go through with the receiving stimuli the perception process starts with the reception of the stimuli the stimuli are received from the various sources these are form five like seeing the objects smell taste touch the things second selection of stimuli after receiving the stimuli from the environment we further select it for the processing while others are screened out because it is not possible for a person to select all the stimuli third is organization of stimuli having selected stimuli these needs to be organized in some form so as to assign some meaning to them interpretation the data collected and organized remains meaningless for the receiver till these are assigned meanings assigning meaning to data is called interpretation next is action action is the last phase in the perceptual process action is a resultant behavior of individual emerging from the perceptual process this in this the action may be positive or negative depend upon the favorable or unfavorable perception held by the perceiver next process topic is learning learning is another important psychological process determining human behavior it can be defined as a change in human behavior acquired through experience learning base is basically the things which we acquired from our environment in which we exist either it's social or it's professional environment so uh, the definition uh, given by robbins learning is any relatively permanent change in behavior that occurs as a result of experience learning is the process by which few behaviors are acquired it is generally agreed that learning involves changes in the behavior and establishing permanency in that change this definition was given by mitchell the nature of learning learning involves a change in behavior through its change is not necessary an improvement over previous behavior second the change in behavior must be relatively permanent any temporary change in behavior is not considered as learning third the behavioral change must be based on some form of practice or experience thus any behavioral change cause of physical alteration would not be considered learning and learning is a lifelong process the components of learning process 
drive stimuli responses reinforcement and retention drives learning frequently occurs in the presence of drive drive is any strong stimuli that impels action without drive learning does not take place a drive is a basis of motivation stimuli stimuli are the objects that exist in the environment in which a person lies stimuli increase the probability of eliciting a specific response from a person responses the stimuli results in responses these may be in the physical form or may be in terms of attitude reinforcement it is a fundamental conditioning of learning it can be defined as events affecting the probability of occurrence of responses retention the stability of learned behavior over time is defined as retention and the converse is forgetting learning now the last one is personality personality is the sum total of an individual psychological system that determines his behavior in given environment personality differs from person to person it means different things to different people it is one of the major biological and psychological factors affecting the human behavior it is a sum total of individual psychological uh, and physical system that determine his or her behavior in a given environment or situations the term personality has been derived from the word persona which means to speak through it refers to how people influence others through their external appearances it is a set of traits and characteristics habits patterns and conditioned responses to certain stimuli that formulate the impression an individual makes upon them uh, the definitions which are to be renowned that personality may be understood as a characteristics of behavior and modes of thinking that determines a person adjustment to the environment by hill grade the five important traits of personality are agreeable conscientiousness negative emotionality extroversion openness the nature of personality which is the it represent distinctive trait it is a goal directed behavior it is unique in nature it became habitual to a person it forms a time integrating structure it finally results into action behavior in a person to person or organization to organization the big five traits are it also known as the big five model which can be agreeableness it refers to the ability of getting along with others people are to be gentle cooperative understanding forgivable natured trusting in their dealings with others conscientiousness refers to the ability of good focus people are relatively goal oriented organized responsible careful and self disciplined emotional stability refers to the ability of handling emotions people are poised calm secure and enthusiastic extroversion refers to the quality of being comfortable with relationship people are most sociable talkative assertive and open to establish new relationship last one is openness it refers to the capacity to enter with the new ideas and to change as a result to inform people are imaginative artistic sensitive intellectual adept the new changes and ideas curious so this is all about the organization